for my DIY today. I am going to go into Alla Dollar and get some fun things for a back to school workbench box. So let's go in here and find some fun stuff. Hey, there's all kinds of fun things. So I can get some pencils and get some colored pencils and uh, get some pans and some markers, glue sticks and scissors, rulers. I got all those in my basket, a calculator, get a big one, and I'm going to spend about $20. Little dry erase boards would be fun. Just saw anything you want to put in your work box, depending on your children's ages. Cute little bins to hold the pencils in, uh, some crayons, let's see, let's get a big box of crayons. Uh, you can get some paints if you want. Uh, just whatever works good. Some erasers. Let's get a couple of bins to hold uh, hold the things in. Hold your pencils and crayons in. Oh, let's get a different color. Ooh, pink. Gotta get pink. This one you get two scissors for one dollar. It's a slide rule and circle maker. Anything the kids need for work, for their schoolwork. There's some cute little things to tote them in. So just look for a carrier. I need something bigger, so I'm gonna look around for that. And here's a cute little tote got the handles. The handles would be very useful, but all these, these look more like laundry bins, so I don't want those. Okay, I got a couple of bins and papers and stuff, about $20 worth there. Okay, um, I'm home from the store and I spent $20 and look at all the fun stuff. Twenty, no, $25 I spent with tax and everything. And I got these cute little bins. I wanted ones deep enough and with a handle. And we'll just load these up. Calculator, markers, rulers, uh, slide rule. Uh, rulers over here. What is this called? Oh, protractor. Uh, a couple of bins to put the pencils in. Some crayons, pencils, scissors, um, glue, sticks. Pencils, a, glue, a pencil sharpener, some pans, and some paper, and a couple little bins. And these are uh, great for the kids to, you know, Mike. Uh, since I don't have kids in school, these I'll use these for my grandkids. They're always asking, "Where are the scissors? You got some glue? You got some pencils? You got some paper?" I thought, "Wow, this is a great idea for back to school, uh, back to school totes. We will call them." And I'm going to open them up and arrange them into the bins. So let's do that. There we go, now we have these little tote bags, uh, tote boxes, and I'm just going to store them under here in the cupboard. And the kids can get them out when they want them. It's got everything in here that they need. So uh, there's your tote boxes for back to school. So those back to school totes fit nicely right under in the cupboard here. And then it's ready for the kids when they need it. Thank you, Grandma. There, I hope you liked that. And 
the kids will love it, I know that. So uh, kids are all getting ready to get back to school and you can add more stuff and as, as you run out then you've got your little carry-on bags. The kids like to go out to the table out back here. Some want to go into the living room where the uh, TV is. I don't know how they get any work done there. But these are DIY on back to school tote boxes or grandma's house. Thank you and make sure you like, comment, below uh, if what what else you'd like to see and my diys come out every friday at two o'clock and make sure you click on the bell ding thank you and good good night everybody